hopefully this vlog turns out to be a little bit better than yesterday's vlog. But we are up before the sun today. And I need to get my kids up. Good morning, it is 7.08, I am ready to go. We started off this morning with me realizing that my cat caught a mouse last night and left it for all to see. Yay. I had my house baited probably two years ago um, and then I just kind of left it because I didn't really know. But we had a, how do I explain that? I don't want to seem like a hoarder with like a mouse problem. Um, we had a couple mice probably two or three years ago and I directly related because I remember the incident like you wouldn't believe. We had tore out a bunch of bushes on each side of our house and it's just because they were dying and they're old. But we tore out the bushes and my husband used his big bobcat. I remember him running to the house twice and I think that side over here where he ran his bobcat into the house is where they're coming in at so i did send a request for him earlier this morning to have somebody come back out and rebate my house so fingers crossed that that works i don't want any mice in here but we live by a pond so it's kind of like the nature of the game mice i think they're kind of cute though i told sienna Whenever I see one, I think of Gus Gus and Cinderella, like a little overweight mouse trying to get some food. All right. Good morning, everybody. Let's take Sienna to school. Have a good day today. Push. Bye. Bye. Yay, look at the snow. This is turning out to be quite the eventful day. You guys see it? Yeah! Cool. I mean, this is crazy. A mouse, snow. What else could happen today? Hi, everyone. So it is now 11.33. We have to leave in a minute and go get some McDonald's because we all know I need nice coffee and I need to pick up some lunch for my kids. So they're gonna get Happy Meals again because that seems to be like the only thing that they really, really want. I contacted a pest control company and they're coming tomorrow at 3.30, so that's exciting. I'm not really sure what happened. The lady on the phone said it's probably because they really, really like wood piles. And I forget if I told you guys that Cody brought home a pallet of firewood yesterday. So I'm thinking maybe it came in that way. I'm not really sure, but it doesn't really stand a chance because Harley is on the Prizow. I just really don't, my whole thing is I don't mind mice. Like it doesn't gross me out or anything. I know it grosses a lot of other people out, but my biggest issue is Harley kills them and then leaves them for me to see as like a prize. And I don't really want to see that. So we are going to try to prevent that from happening. I also contacted a carpet cleaning company. If you're wondering what I did this morning. I contacted a carpet cleaning company. And they too are coming tomorrow between 10 and 12. What? Where's the tape of the whole thing? The whole thing of tape? Yeah. I think I have some over here. But you got to get ready because we have to leave in a minute. So tomorrow's gonna be a busy day, but it kind of throws a wrench in today. Not only really a wrench, because I gotta get it done anyway, but I need only use a little bit because I need that to wrap presents. What was I saying? Oh, it doesn't really throw a wrench because I need to get, a lot of times like I just need to like kick to get me cleaning and that can be like my little kick so I can clean the house really well, especially the basement. I mean, I just have to pick stuff up and then I'll sweep everything before they come. And upstairs, so that's, they're gonna clean the carpets upstairs and downstairs. And then I need to straighten some cabinets because usually when they put those little black boxes, they put it underneath the sink. But the last time that the guy like looked at my sink, I guess he was looking for like droppings. That's all, that's all I have to show you guys. All right, I'll see y'all at McDonald's. I take your one. Can I get two cheeseburger Happy Meals? Both with extra fries and both with chocolate milk. I 
And can I also get a large iced caramel coffee? Bad for us. 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 And not the tiger. Great. The minions. Right? And what kind of, you said caramel? Yeah. Is that all for you? Yep, that's all. 797 first window. Perfect, yeah. thank you. I love this McDonald's. Whoever the owners are, which I think it's Craig and Patricia Peters, they do such a good job. Look at how cute that is. Alright, I'm here at Big Lots. I can't forget to get hangers and I can't forget to get sponges. I also can't forget to pick up my Kroger order at between 4 and 5. Oh, I need to write this all down. So now we are on our way back home to do what um, I don't have to be back to pick up jet until three o'clock so I have a good two hours I'm thinking I may wrap some presents or I may just go through everything like all of my things I need to straighten up the whole house and get it ready for carpet cleaning and for the pest people to come tomorrow so maybe I will do that I don't know we'll see I'll see you all when I get home so it is another day, another crock pot meal. My inner German heritage self has some sauerkraut and some brats in the crock pot. I put it on low for eight hours, but I'm thinking it's gonna be more like four or five on low. Oh no, we're gonna check them. I'll cut them open once we get back from, although I'm gonna be in the car for like the next three hours. Uh, We'll just let them sit in there on low is what we'll do. I'm sure it'll be fine. Anyway, I am part German, part Norwegian, in case you're wondering what my cultural background is. That's what it is. You're welcome. Found my lipstick, everybody. It has been missing for about a month. This is my favorite. My favorite one and then now i'm not only was i missing this one i was missing my other red which is the mac ruby woo i have no idea where it's at but it's like a little one so i, I have no idea what i did with it but we are going to talk about my mouse story or face i just told my parents about it but i thought i would share the debacle that i face this morning right when i woke up Hold on. Hold on. So I keep having, you and you have like that anxiety where you keep thinking that you're forgetting something and it's like it really, like, it almost makes you feel sick. It's like that deep, I don't know. Anyway, I think I left my garage door open. I have no idea. So I turned around to go check, make sure I close it. I've been having like one of those days where my mind isn't processing information and remembering anything. I think they call that mom brain. That's what I'm having. So we're gonna go check and then I'm gonna tell you my mouse story. Of course it's closed. All right guys. So the mouse story. So I found the mouse in my kitchen, which Harley had left for me exactly where I didn't want to find a mouse at and it doesn't really surprise me because I had my house baited, like I told you guys this morning, a couple years ago after Cody had hit the side of her house, which I think is how they're getting in. I mean, that's the only possible way, unless they're coming through my garage, which there is a hole that they could get through right by the wood pile. And when I talked to the lady, she said that they really, really like wood piles. Like that's where they typically like to make homes in. Anyway. Nonetheless, so I find the mouse in my kitchen. Harley left it for me. He doesn't eat them. He just kills them and leaves them. Um, I didn't kill the mouse. My cat did. Just as a heads up, I didn't kill it. The cat killed it. So I'm like, what am I going to do? So I grabbed a box and I grabbed a Tupper, an old Tupperware that was like cracked that I need to get rid of anyway. And I like scooped it up. 
and I was like, my first thought was I'm just going to fling it outside in my side yard. I'm like, well, fling it out there, not in my backyard, not where it's gated, just on the side because everybody goes over there anyway. And so it was pitch black outside when I found the mouse. So I scoop it up and I go to fling it. Now this morning we had freezing rain slash snow. So I go to fling it and I slip and I fall. And it's dark so I can't see exactly where the mouse landed. But I guess what happened was, is when I went to go fling it, he fell off of the cardboard and onto the ground, onto the deck. So an hour goes by, now it's light out and I let Blue outside and the mouse landed on the deck because I, I could see Blue sniffing it. So, oh my gosh, so I put my slippers on and I'm like, what can I now fling it with? So I pick the brat, because you know how we're having brats and sauerkraut today? The brat pan, which is, you know, like a pan of styrofoam, but it's like a sturdy styrofoam. So I go to flick it off of my deck and it's frozen to the deck. So I'm trying to like scrape it with this styrofoam and Blue's trying to eat it and it was the biggest debacle ever. I finally get it off of my deck and I fling it into the side yard where it is now peacefully resting. I'm not really sure what will happen to it. I'm hoping maybe another animal will eat it because that's kind of like the circle of life, but we'll see. But that's my mouse story. That is why Scherzinger Pest Control is coming to my house ASAP tomorrow at 3.30. So get, get rid of them. Although they don't last long in my house. The last time my cat caught two mice and yeah, he's pretty good even though he's declawed. He's pretty good at catching stuff. But that is my mouse story. You're welcome. All right, let's go get Jet. How was your school day? Good. Did you do anything fun and exciting? Yeah. What? Your craft. No good, what else? No. Guess what? I'm the helper next. I get to go to school with you. Yay! All right, groceries are in the back. It's four or six. We're headed home. We're going to drop these groceries off. We're going to pick up Blue and then we're going to go get Sienna. She's done at theater at five o'clock today. So her theater is way longer than it typically is. But that is our plan. A little uppy, and a little uppity update. You only have one substitution in case you're wondering. They didn't have my Kroger donuts, so they substituted my Kroger powder donuts with Kroger cinnamon sugar donuts. That's all right. That sounds even better. Okay, let's go home. We are back in the car. We just dropped all the groceries off at the house. I used to put them on top of the counter. And now we're gonna go get Sienna from school. I shoved two powdered donuts in my face and had a little bit of, well I sampled the dinner which was delicious. All I did was put sauerkraut in that package of rocks. Blue, what are you doing back there? And we picked Blue up. But that is what I'm doing. We're gonna pick her up, come home. She's gotta do her homework. I'm gonna clean up the kitchen. Everybody's gonna eat dinner. I need to make some instant potatoes. And we're gonna do Napoli. Yeah, we may play a game. I also want to wrap presents, so. And finish filling out Christmas cards. So I have a lot to do, and I gotta clean my house, and I gotta get it ready for the carpet cleaner. So there's a whole long list. Wait, is the carpet cleaner to coming today? Tomorrow morning. Wait. And I want everything like out of the way and cleaned up, so. Lots to do. Oh. Hi. Hi. We get to play a Monopoly. What? Good evening, everybody. It is 5.34. I'm exhausted. I don't want to drink coffee though, but I might have to, but I'm not really craving it. But I'll see you guys when I do something interesting. Really anything other than staying here. Alright everybody, I am now upstairs. I'm about to take all of my makeup off. It is already 8.42. I don't know where the night went. 
but all I did was finish writing out Christmas cards. I figure I better do that first and get those out because it's like kind of like deadline time. So I think, again, I'm gonna wrap hopefully tomorrow or sometime this week. Before Christmas, I'm gonna wrap presents. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this vlog. We have a really busy day tomorrow, so I don't know how I'm gonna get around to wrapping presents. However, since the carpets are being cleaned, I'm thinking sitting by the fire because I can't like do anything else because the basement carpets will be wet and our upstairs will be wet. So maybe wrapping presents will be a good thing to do tomorrow. We will see. All right, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'll see you all nice, bright, and early tomorrow morning. Bye, everybody.